the practice of getting beyond yourself and slowing the brain waves down is an art. And when you relax kind of a little bit more and you just stop thinking for a few seconds and you slow your breathing down and you start to relax your body and you work on relaxing it. And as your respiratory rate goes down, your brain waves go down. The broadening of a focus on the immaterial, on emptiness, on space, causes you to stop analyzing and thinking if you're sensing and feeling. There'll be a moment where the body can actually relax and when it does, energy naturally moves into the heart at a very low frequency. That's the heart saying, oh my God, it's time to create. So the act of tuning into that nothing and putting your attention on it, and then I tell you that it's energy and frequency, and you could get beyond your body, your environment, and time, and you can sense space and keep your focus on whatever that energy or frequency is. There's order in that unifying field that tends to cause the brain to go into more coherent states. We see how the brain starts to cross frequency couple. Networks start resonating together. And that's a new mind. The mind is being trained to energy. And energy and frequency carry information. The coherent state of alpha tends to feel more whole. And that's when the heart and the brain start working together. We practice brain and heart coherence and heart and brain coherence. There's a beautiful dance and a symphony that goes on between the two. That is the creative state that we should live in on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. Your progress will come as you continue to do the work and continue to understand the what and the why. And, you know, you'll have some days that are better than others, like all of us.